Well, they're creepy, they're kooky, mysterious, and spooky. But before you get your snapping fingers ready, we're not talking about the Adams family. All of those adjectives apply to the costumes and couture that decked the, run the runway at this weekend's Halloween fashion show. Stephanie Frater King attended the frightfully festive event to bring us more. <laughs> Halloween is just around the corner and Flagstaff decided to start celebrating early at the first Friday Art Walk. One of the events that took place was Tommy's Costumes Runway Show at the Green Room, where Tommy Elias's custom Halloween costumes were displayed. I started this concept about, four, about three to four years ago, and I've just been building my stock and, and seeing where it grows. And, and it's since I moved to Flagstaff two years ago, the whole concept has grown significantly. This town is just so magical. Elias has received a countless number of requests for his custom costumes, which he handcrafts himself. Most of my inspiration is from my clientele. Uh, since I do custom work, I work with someone else's inspiration in creating their vision and their dream of who they, what character they want to play. These costumes have also brought the community closer together in a way you may not have expected. These models are just local community members who want to be involved in a fun artistic event and anywhere from green room patrons to city council members to mayoral candidates. It's been an amazing experience to bring such a different community together. Not only does Elias have many fans of his work, there are also younger children who aspire to be like him one day. And for them, he gives this advice. Think about what really excites someone. You know, we all have this character that we want to play. And, and I get the fortunate job to help bring out that character. And uh, so, when I meet with my guests, I, I ask them, who do you want to be, how much skin do you want to show, and how much fun do you want to have? For NAZ Today, I'm Stephanie Frederking.